Hey guys, my name is Cameron, and I decided to do a video tour of the El Cid Marina Resort in Mazatlan, Mexico. These are the front doors to the resort lobby. To the right you have the front desk, which you will do your check-ins and your check-outs. Here is a view of the front desk and the front doors again. Continuing on to the information booth and the concierge counter. If you go up the left side from the front doors, you will find these stairs that lead to the La Marina restaurant and they have menu items as well as a buffet for breakfast lunch and dinner you have bathrooms here on the left side down that hallway here is a view of the menu I will say that the breakfast was really good we did the all-inclusive so I actually never ordered anything off the menu although you are free to order anything off the menu whether you are all-inclusive or not obviously it is included off the menu but I just did the buffet every time different days of the week they do different themed nights Mediterranean night Mexican night uh, Oriental night etc so we're going to go walk down these stairs again and actually underneath the La Marina restaurant is another restaurant. I'm pretty sure it's called the same thing or maybe they're both just called the same thing but they do have different menu items. We only ate here for breakfast so I'm not exactly sure what is the difference of the menu items. I did get a close up of the menu here in a few seconds. But this is the back door of the lobby. You'll be going through those doors a lot if you stay here. And this is the view of all the rooms. So I'm going to lead you to that menu again. They have indoor and outdoor seating, as you can see. There's a quick glimpse of the menu. You can pause. Everything listed on the menus is pesos. So now we're back at the lobby. We're going to restart here a lot of different times in this video. But this is out the back door of the lobby. We're going to go down the right-hand side and go to these buildings here which is going to be building J and K. Again, building J and K on the right-hand side as you exit the back door of the lobby. That's what I'm going to refer to it as, as the back door. As you can see clearly there, it's J and K. We're going to go down these steps, which leads you right to the marina. finally break down those stairs there and here's the marina as you can see the marina is pretty full pretty sure most of these are just privately owned boats but I'm not entirely sure here's a little panorama view of the marina from the shoreline and we're gonna start back up at the top here again out the back doors this time we're gonna go all the way down straight down these stairs all the way back to the marina which is just next to where we were in that last clip. So we'll break down these stairs here. You won't have a hard time getting your steps in at this resort as you'll be walking constantly back and forth to your room. So we make it to the bottom of the stairs. We're gonna veer right. So this is next to building J and K. That staircase to the right there is just where we got spit out in that last clip. If you continue on down the right hand side, you'll see some shops here. Just different various shops. There's like a surf shop that has different surf gear, board shorts, things like that. There is a doctor that's on duty for part of the day. A little boutique store, a little supermarket if you need, you know, different random dried goods. They do have a couple canned goods as well. Another little shop of random stuff such as souvenirs. And then the last stop here is the Harbor Master which is where you will go to book any fishing activities you want to do. It is both those glass doors there. Circling back around where that blue sign is there is where you will go to Deer Island, I believe, which is another excursion. If you go down this ramp here, there is beach access, but you have to take that boat taxi, which is actually coming up right now as we're walking down this ramp. You'll go down this ramp, meet the boat taxi, it goes back and forth. It says every 15 minutes, but it's really more like every 5 or 6 because it doesn't go too far. You will hop on this. They're very friendly drivers. Tips are appreciated and I also believe expected as well. I didn't tip every time though. Go up this ramp and you can just follow along in the video. I did do a couple of jump cuts just to not make this video so, so long although it is going to be long regardless and we'll just veer to the left here and follow this path and i will see you guys at the beach
All right, and we're back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little walk. It's not as long as it seems. It's actually pretty close by. As you see, you just follow the signs. That one said beach access. We're gonna go down this little walkway to a patio. At the far end of this patio, there is a couple bathrooms. Off to the left, there was a staircase to go down to the beach. Uh, here it is. So you can enter the beach right here, right as you walk in. I'm gonna continue on and just show you a little bit more stuff though. Here you have a towel exchange station as well as a little bar. I'm not sure exactly what food you get here. We ordered ice cream, but they actually just shipped the ice cream in from the main resort, so it took a long time to get. But there's another staircase there that brings you down to the beach. We're gonna just walk through all these people's chairs. Hopefully they didn't mind. And this is the private El Cid Beach. At least with the marina, I'm not sure if the other El Cid resorts have a private beach like this one does. They may or may not, but at least you know how to get to this one. The waves were pretty rough the whole time in February. Oh, look at that kid. He is zooming. Got to be a new record for him. It's a beautiful beach. Like I said, very private. The sand is great for making sand castles. And just an overall beautiful day here in Mazatlan an overall view of a different resort and then back towards El Cid there. Full 360 degrees. Like I said, the ocean was a little rough. Too rough to really get in. We got in about knee high, but I didn't really feel too safe getting any deeper than that. Not sure if that changes depending on what time of year you go. Again, we were there the third week of February 2024. Heading back towards the resort here, we're actually gonna veer right because you'll notice that there's this pretty cool looking white house at the end of this pathway once we turn this corner. I thought it would be a cool place to get maybe a sunset shot, kind of use that white house in the background or the foreground even. But as you discover once we get closer, it's actually a federal zone and you're not supposed to trespass. I chose not to trespass, although I'm not entirely sure how strict they are about it. So continue at your own risk. If you want to go past this sign, you'll get a nice close up of the sign so you know what it says. But this is where we stopped. This is an overview of the beach that we were just at. Turning around now, there's a jump cut just back to where we came. There's the entrance to the beach access to the left there. Didn't want to bring you guys all the way back with me. It's a little bit of a walk out to that sign. So thank me later for not making you endure that in this video. We're going to go back down to where the boat taxi goes back and forth. Just right down this walking path. You have a beautiful overview with the palm trees across the strait or harbor. I guess you could call it is of course the resort and the rest of the buildings. So once we get back, we're gonna start at the top again and uh, make our way down to the other buildings. Hopefully that does a good job of showing you how to get to and from the beach here at El Cid. 
no one ever really tells you how to do it so you kind of just got to find out on your own you can ask the information desk and they're good at helping you out but i feel like a lot of people maybe feel too awkward to go up and ask a question like that so if you ever stay here hopefully that helps you out back again at the top of the lobby out the back door we're going to head down the red path now instead of the stairs finally we get a little bit of relief for those knees of ours nice little overview shot of the seating area outside at this bottom restaurant here we have building h just shining through barely from that little baby palm tree on this red cart path, they do have carts going back and forth, so if you want to get a ride to and from the lobby, you can. If you decide to walk that red road, just be careful, carts come back and forth all the time. We're going to go to the left here is where you're going to find the spa and also the gym if you're looking to burn some calories while you're on vacation. Pretty basic gym, a lot of cardio equipment. I didn't see a lot of weights in there. There might have been dumbbells. There is usually a person at that front desk for the spa, though, so you would talk to them to get a massage or other various things. Going to continue on walking into where the actual rooms are now. So every other door you see in this building and the next few buildings afterwards are all the various rooms. And I'm going to stop at every little staircase along the way just to show you what it looks like. Oh, and there is Grandma. Everyone say hi to Grandma. There she is. Hi, Grandma. Here is the magical stair steps down to the pool. Don't worry, we will make our way down there here soon. There is a bottom pathway that goes down floor number one. Heading into building E now, as you can see... We kind of go backwards down the alphabet the further down we go. At the very, very front of the lobby it was J and K, so just making our way down the alphabet to A. And this is actually all floor number two right here at this ground level. There is a floor one, which is pool level, and all of the rooms marked with a one in the beginning would be on that first level, and the only way to access them is to go down these steps and just go down the walkway to your room number. Finally made our way to the end of this long stretch of rooms. Down here to the left, we're going to continue to follow the red path around this wonderful fountain. Ah, there it is, building A. We finally made it to the beginning of the alphabet. There's the fountain. Didn't see any coins in there, though. So if you continue to walk around building letter A, there's a fence line here. That is a private beach to a resort that no longer exists anymore. Apparently it's for sale. Not sure the amount though. So if you're looking to get in the resort business, it did look like it was pretty much rumbles though. There is a tiny little sanded area. I wouldn't call it a beach necessarily, but you have beach chairs nonetheless. Fun little umbrellas if you want to get out of the sun. Good chance to read. A little bit of ocean access to the harbor area. Wouldn't necessarily call it ocean side though. And here is an outdoor massage table. So if you book a massage and you don't want to get it in the spa, you can get one for outdoors. And that would be where you go. So all the way around building A, as far as you can walk pretty much. As you could see, that sign said, don't climb on the rocks. That would be at your own discretion, I suppose. So now we're going to continue to walk around A. Instead of going back the way we came, we're just going to make a full rotation around it here.
walking along the coastline. More access to rooms. If you are a lucky one to get a room all the way at the end, you have quite the walk to and from your room to get uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so that would be fun. Now stashed away here is a, another little pool. It's pretty shallow. I'm not sure exactly how deep it goes, but I know it's not too deep. However, I don't know how many people really know about this one. It's not heated, so I guess not many people wanted to fight the cold water. Everybody was in the first pool we saw, which is heated. A little waterfall there. So now we're back at the top again, going down the red brick road. I don't know if it's really brick, but the red paved road. I found it easier just to explain the layout of this place by starting at the same spot every time so you knew what the start point was and hopefully it all kind of connects and gives you just a visual layout of what it looks like. So this time we're going to veer right and go all the way down this path here. Back to the marina, of course the stairs to the right there we already went down so you know exactly where that ends up. This just goes a little further to camera left. So here's that ground pool level I was talking about, like say everything that is on floor one you have to access from this sidewalk. So you would go down the red brick road and circle around and just find your room number from here. It's beautifully maintained. They do work on it actively, so there is some mornings where you'll have the landscaping crew out there doing weed eating, lawn mowing, all that kind of stuff. You know, sometimes as late as 10, 11 o'clock. So just be wary of that if you're trying to relax in the morning, that it is possible that the crew is out and maintaining the grass and the plants. Oh yeah, I tricked ya. You thought we were gonna go straight to the pool through that little walkway, but don't worry. We're gonna get there. We're just gonna go through the main entrance, which is the same staircase that had the horses. Hopefully stopping at each staircase helps you with an idea of kind of the way out here. So that was between building G and H. We did stop at that same staircase in the last clip when we walked through that second floor level. Coming up now on the horse staircase. This is the staircase that had the horses at the top, if you remember from the last clip not too many minutes ago. So you would walk down this directly to the pool. So this pool is actually heated, that's why there's a lot more people in it. You have a bar and grill to the left there, also a swim up bar that they actively give out drinks. They do have drink and food menus that you can ask. This little place has a couple sandwiches, some chicken wings, and some chicken nuggets for the kiddos, some ceviche and chips and salsa. It doesn't have a lot of options, but it is a good little lunch spot for just something quick to eat. There are waiters that walk around and will take your order, although if you know what you want, you can just walk right up to them and let anybody know what you want and they'll get it in for you. I also didn't capture it, unfortunately, but on the back side of that pool, there is a towel replacement station, as well as a little event station. They'll do things like bingo and blackjack. They have a ping pong table back there and also a large shuffleboard platform where you would just stand on it and play it. So not your traditional shuffleboard. I think that's what it's called. It may not be. We're gonna continue down the base sidewalk here on the pool level. You have this fun little courtyard. I did see some animals walking around, so I'm not sure exactly how strict they are on animals. Maybe you can get animal only rooms, but there were a few dogs roaming around the property with their owners. Not sure if they were only service dogs or if there's a size requirement. All the dogs I saw were smaller little ankle biter dogs. So keep that in mind, but maybe an option to ask. We're just gonna continue on down this pathway, stopping at each little staircase along the way that meets the second floor to the first floor.
Finally walking up to another bar and grill. This one is right next to the second pool, which remember is not heated. There is a jacuzzi here though. We will go through there in just a second. We're actually gonna just continue up this pathway. Here's some bathrooms to the left here. This is hopefully gonna connect some dots with a lot of people watching. Once we get up here around the corner, you'll see what I'm talking about. Ah, yes, we're back to building A. There is the fountain. So hopefully, like I said, that connects a couple dots. Now we'll go visit the pool. Now we're walking by the bar and grill. They do have more options there. There's cheeseburgers, the ribs were pretty good. I got the chicken wings multiple times. That was always good. Here's the pool. You can see slides off in the background. Back behind the pool in the direction we're heading right now is the jacuzzi. The jacuzzi temperature varies. I can't really pin my thumb on it, but the first night I got in the jacuzzi, it felt like it was 106, 107 possibly. And then each day after that, it seemed to get cooler and cooler. The last night I was in it, it almost just felt like a bath water. It wasn't really that hot at all. So I'm not sure what exactly controls the temperature there. It's a bummer we didn't get in this pool a ton because it is actually beautiful with the waterfalls. If you continue on like we're gonna do, we're gonna go back around to building A. And you're gonna be able to see the massage beds out in the sandy area that we were at in the last clip. And right around back to the hidden pool, which I think nobody knows about. I'm gonna assume that nobody knows about it. And yes, I know you all wanted me to go up these stairs, so of course I tricked you. We are gonna go up here and check it out. This leads to the two little water slides that go into the bigger side of this pool. No diving, so it must not be too deep. Did not go down the slide though. It is just a beautiful resort as you can see. Great, great blue skies the entire time we were there. I thought it would just be a fun idea to give you guys a idea of what you could expect at the El Cid Marina Resort in Mazatlan, Mexico. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions. I can try to answer any that I can. We went in February of 2024. It was 85 degrees the entire week we were there. It does get breezy in the evenings though, so if you end up going and you wanna to go to the beach, go to the beach before noon. It seems like the wind just comes in around one o'clock and doesn't really let up most of the day. So keep that in mind. That could be different with different times of year. In February, that's at least how it was, so. All right, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I know it is a little bit of a marathon, but I had to give you guys the whole entire experience of walking around the resort. Thanks so much. All right, peace.